All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So the other day, I was breaking down the saw, did the introduction, and we took up the flywheel. I just continued working. <laughs> it just kept on breaking down the saw. I didn't do an intro and I didn't do an outro. Here, here it is. Um, so today we're going to break down the rest of Still 66. We're gonna go through the parts. We're gonna find out what's still parts and what's Chinesium. So it's, uh, you know, it's a surprise. And it's, it was actually a lot of fun working with the saw or working with the tools, breaking down the saw. So I guess the coil could come out. That's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> I got a new coil, new wiring harness. I'm not saving too many parts here. It's pretty beat. Pretty beat indeed. Old coil. So the old heated grip situation is uh, terminated. <laughs> Probably. Well, let's flip into the clutch side, I guess. Probably get that off while we got our pistol stop in here. Non captured nuts. Yeah, I'm gonna place that. Where's my pick? There it is. This is why I I dyed the old or the new cover because it's white plastic whatever you want to call it, gray, off-white, still, still white for the still <laughs> It yellows really badly with oil and heat. So it might be the old style plastic that they used back in the day. Not sure, but maybe I'm a bit fussy. Most likely wrong. I've never had, never worked on a still before, so this is a uh, new territory. Chain adjuster. Keep that all together. It looks like there's an O-ring there. Keep that. Looks like it's in good shape. I'll bag up and mark all these parts after. Studs seem like they're in good shape. Oilers flowing oil, so that's good. There's no oil in the tank, but this worked really good. This tool. You don't need a special tool for the steel clutches. I'm like Husqvarna. Husqvarna. Okay, here comes clutch removal. I believe it's left hand thread. Cool. Makes sense. Now are we looking at a still still clutch? I don't think so. Oiler. Drive gear.
Wow. Another reminder to do some yearly maintenance. Clean your <laughs> Disgusting. Doesn't take much. A few tools, some brake cleaning, some air. Keep your tool, keep your saws clean. They'll last way longer. I believe this just pops out. Well, let's get this cover out of here. Break a cover. Good. Look at this. It's like a whole mouse. This is gonna have to come apart, but let's get the oil pump out. Wow. Still seals. An FAG. Bearing, that's that's stock. Let's get break out, okay. Brake band. Brake band. Brake spring, and I believe, there we go, that stays on there, that pulls out of there, parts pop, alright guys, I didn't think, I'm going to break this down into different sections, but I'm just, I'm going to basically break this down into a long block. thing is cooked. Spark arrestor screen is bent. Spark arrestor screen is not in there. Oh my god, this thing got cooked. Yikes. Here's the air box. It is filthy. Looks like there's fines that got into the carb. So we're going to take this carb off. There is some parts in here, the throttle group. The switch shaft is good. I'm gonna order a new one anyway. This is the old style 66 switch shaft. Basically, I'm building a 660. I'll be I'll be putting a 660 switch shaft. On it. I don't think there's any difference, but can we use the throttle wire? The throttle. All the throttle parts feel fine. This looks like a Walbro 67B. I have a new one and I have a rebuild kit for this so I will have a backup carb. The non-limiter cap carb. So I think this is uh, just a fuel line. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. If your light is off, ooh, yeah. impulse line. Carb is out, it should say on it. This will need to be rebuilt for sure. It doesn't look old, but it doesn't say still on this top cap, so this may be a reproduction. It's not a wall bro, it doesn't say wall bro anywhere on it. Gynesium. I do want to remove this, there we go. Go. Wiring harness removed. Now I believe I can remove the tag. We remove the caps. Busted. I don't know if there's a trick to this, but... Clean your stuff, guys. Wow. This thing is rotten. Alright, here we go. Long walk. Disgusting. This thing is filthy. This annual is broken. This mount is broken for the top cover. This mount for the top cover is pounded out. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for breaking down the saw to the long block. I cleaned the long block off camera. Uh, I used what I have, slap shot and brake clean and air. Uh, and I got it down to the paint, basically. It was still pretty greasy, so I wiped it up with uh, the, my remaining shop towels. I'll have to go on a shopping trip here. And, um, and then the next day, I break down the log block. And then that's it for the saw until I, I get parts in the mail. So enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, I look forward to the future videos.
and I'll see you on the next one.